Hello dear students and uh, welcome back to English with Professor Tabassum. In today's video we will be discussing informal letters. In my previous video I explained you and also given you the format for uh, how to write a formal letter. But this time we will learn how to write an informal letter. Okay. Now informal letters are also called personal letters and they are written to friends, relatives and family members. So here is a letter. Read the condolence letter. Written by Anurag to his friend Vinay on his friend's death. Okay, so in the exam they will give you the question like write a letter to your friend giving him condolence for a friend's death. Okay, thing you are going to write is the from address. Okay, means your address you write first and then you leave a line. You put up the date in this format 21st February 2022. Now you will write the exams in March, right? So you could write 1st March, 2nd March, comma. 2024 okay then leave a line then salutation now in salutation you are not going to write respected vine or respected friend no this is an informal letter you will use an informal language like dear vine okay then leave a line and your introductory paragraph okay first is introduction then is the body okay and then is your conclusion always a letter has to be written in three paragraphs so in the first paragraph you'll just mention in one line first you'll ask hi how are you and all and then in one line you're going to explain the reason for writing the letter then in the second paragraph you're going to go in detail and the conclusion what action you are expecting for the friend to take or is there something you want the friend to do that the conclusion is going to come in the third paragraph okay so let us see the first paragraph I was so sorry to hear about your friend Raghu Ram's death. I know how close you both were. You were more than friends. He was one of your family members. Okay. He was one of your family members. It should be. Please accept my deep sympathies on this irreplaceable loss. Okay. Or in other words, you can also write that. Uh, Hi Vinay, I hope you are fine. I heard about Raghu Ram's death and he was like a more like a family member. And I am writing this letter to give you condolence for our friend's death. Like that also you can write. Now coming to the second paragraph. That is the detailed paragraph. Now in detail you need to mention about Raghu Ram. Raghu Ram was very active and courageous. He took part in most of our community activities. He inspired me a lot. Many can take him as an inspiration, but he neglected his health. It seems he should have been a bit careful regarding his health. I, I know his death is a great loss in your life. Don't hesitate to call me. I am always here to help you. So this is your second paragraph. Now coming to the conclusion. May God bless you and Raghuram's family with the strength to sail through this tough time. I hope to meet you this week. Please take care of your health and accept my sincere condolences with deep sympathies. Okay, write yours truly or you can write yours lovingly, yours affectionately, whatever you want, then your name. Okay, and then the to address. To address means Vinay, your friend's address will come here down. Okay, so on top you'll write the from address, your address and down you'll write the to address. So this is the format for an informal letter. Maybe after some time, I'll uh, also discuss some more letters as time uh, prevails. And uh, we'll be discussing furthermore topics of first year and second year English. Stay tuned.